Hi, this is Amber Payne with Campus Rec TV, and I'm here with Khadija. Khadija, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Khadija Johnson. I'm a fourth year broadcast journalism major from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And Khadija, can you please tell me, where can students go to increase their physical fitness? Well, of course, I can come here to the FAMU gym. Um, it's open all, the, all day, pretty much, 9 to 8, almost every day. And um, there's like a really great staff here. Um, there's physical trainers, there's directors here that can even help you with your workouts and just been really beneficial to me. I come use the machines every day and and I don't know, I just like the burn and <laughs> it's just really exciting to me. So, And you were saying that you lost 25 pounds working out. Was it only from working out or was it from diet as well? Um, it was primarily from working out. Um, I also did um, eat lighter foods, like I'll replace white bread with wheat bread and certain things like that. And um, it really has helped me like sustain my weight and just keep it down. So that's you. And this is Amber Payne with Campus Rec TV signing off. Hi, this is Amber Payne with Campus Rec TV and we're here at Health Services to see the Director of Health, Ms. Tanya Tatum. Let's see if she's in. Hi, Mrs. Tatum. How are you today? Come on in. Nice to meet you today. You too. How are you doing today? Great. Okay. So I'm here with Campus Rec TV, and we're starting a new show. It's called Now You Know. And basically, it's about women's health and how it can benefit um, the women around campus, how using the recreation center can benefit women. Ms. Tatum, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself and your job description? Um, Thank you. Um, my name is Tanya Tatum, and I'm the Director of Student Health Services here at Florida A&M University. And I have been here for four years, and I absolutely love being able to try to start some new programs and to make sure that we have a really good health service here on campus for students. Okay, thank you. And um, you were saying something about the programs. What are some of the programs that um, health services provide to students on campus? We have a number of programs. In addition to just our basic clinical services, um, we do a lot of outreach and a lot of prevention programming um, across campus in different venues. Um, we visit students in the residence halls, in different student organization groups, and um, classrooms any in a lot of different places um, we also work with several other partners on campus campus recreation and the Tooks um, rec center student rec center is one of our big partners along with the office of counseling services in both of those we work with very frequently on new programs okay and on my way in I saw some orange bicycles <laughs> mounted up on the wall can you tell me the story behind those yes um, I'm really excited about our new bicycle program um, student Health Services and the Office of Counseling Services um, went together and we s received a grant from the Office of Women's Health, the Federal Office of Women's Health. And one of our projects this year was to do a bicycle program. One of our goals is to address women's health in a number of areas. Um, we are addressing HIV and AIDS, we're addressing um, just general health issues, and also um, cardiovascular health and one of the things that we did we were at the University of Miami and saw a bike program that they had and so we want to do our own version um, so we purchased a large number of bikes this year and we just finished up several bike safety classes and so we're putting bikes on campus okay and I'm um, looking at women um, at Florida A&M what are some of your major health concerns um, I think our major health concerns are the ones that we would normally find in young adults of this age. Um, there are always issues of eating well, getting enough sleep, making sure we're exercising on a regular basis. Um, a lot of times when we come to college, we sort of focus on our studies um, and some of the other practices that we may have done when we were at home, we don't do as well or we don't remember or we think we don't have the time. But when you're on your own at this opportunity, this period in your life, it's really good to establish your good health habits right now because those are the ones that are going to stick with you over time. And so it's really encouraging students to eat well, get enough sleep, and exercise the way they should. Um, and it'll help us to avoid issues of obesity and hypertension and cardiovascular disease um, and a lot of our STDs that we're having. So.